between fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand. And then if you go on the high end, you're looking at about a hundred, one hundred and twenty-five plus for marketing to that circle of influence that you already have. So you know, depending on wh- who you are and where you are, you know, that's that's what you're really looking at. You know, and and we'll be more than happy to break those down. And you know, you guys, you know, we've had attorneys on the on the call, I mean, on this phone, on the show with us, that have told you, you know, hey, I charge twenty five thousand dollars for the project, or I charge thirty five thousand dollars. So we know exactly what you know what 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 people are out there are doing. And as more attorneys are doing it, you know, are, are available to do it, the price is going to go down a little bit because it's like everything else, you know, the more people that are involved. The, the, the price starts to go down. But you also want to make sure that you're working with somebody reputable too because you don't want to go, you know, five or six deep in comments also. So, you know, I think that that's, that's a, a nice, you know, way to kind of put everything into perspective when we're talking about the actual dollars that are needed. Yeah, I, you know what, Miguel, I think everyone who's considering a Reg A or Regulation A plus offering, they should stop what they're doing and listen to this podcast because this is the real information that they need to know. The first question people ask me when I talk about Reg A uh, on a project-by-project project basis, how much is it going to cost me? How much is this going to cost? And here we are, given that information, I haven't seen it out there other than the Reg A Money Show. People have to listen to this show right now. It is a wealth of information. You did a great job summarizing all those costs. I love it. Yeah, and, and, and listen, not only, not only uh, can people get information from this show, Ron, but they can also contact us. I mean, if you want to send us an email, if you've got information, if you're a professional out there and you're in the reggae industry, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. You know, we've talked to a lot of different people. We'd like to get a lot of different opinions uh, in regards to this show. And, you know, the one thing, Ron, that we didn't do on the first segment of the show is, you know, we didn't go into our, our emails today. You know, we didn't have – we had a question that came in. Uh, from the show that we did last week from a guy in, uh, in uh, New York. Uh, his name is Richie, and Richie also wanted to ask a question in regards to about the same thing that you were talking about. He says, look, uh, I'm just going to read his question. If you don't mind, and we can wrap up the show after this, Ron, because I think that we okay. should let Richie in New York uh, find out his question. Now, hopefully, Richie, you know, the, the reason that we did this show is because you're, it kind of isn't lined with the question that you had this week that came into me. So uh, Richie is asking, hey, uh, hey, Miguel and Ron, love the show, uh, listening to the podcast for a while. Thanks for all the information that you uh, give to all of us out here. We really appreciate it. Uh, I'm a small business owner. I've been in business for over five years. My, uh, my company was uh, handed to me. I'm a second generation uh, a business owner from my dad. Uh, I want to expand on my dad's a dream. Uh, my dad spent his life building our business, and now it's time for me to take it to the next level. I was wondering if reggae would be possible for a company, and then he gave some of the business, um, some of the business stuff. You know, I don't want to get into the, all of that, but he gave me some of the details on his business. And he says, "What do you think something like this is going to run uh, on me?" So, so Richie, you know, hey, I, I, first of all, I appreciate you listening to the show. Ron and I, uh, I, I do this because of guys like you out there, you know, entrepreneurs out there who are looking to access capital markets. You know, that th- this, these, these markets haven't been available to to entrepreneurs uh, like yourself. And, man, it makes me feel so good to know that you're a second-generation entrepreneur, that your dad, you know, kind of passed the torch on to you, and now you're looking to expand on your dad's dream. That, that really means a lot to me. So, so, Richie, I think, you know, after looking at some of the details of, of your business, you've got a great business over there in, in, uh, in Jersey City. Um, I, I think that um, what you need to do is I can, I can refer some of attorneys, but, my friend, I think that, you know, you have a good following, like we were just talking about here on the show, and I think if you could tap into that, that following that your dad and yourself have created with all your customers, I think that, you know, a service, a service industry company like yourself, you're going to be a me too, but you will be very unique because, yes, you're into service and a lot of people do services, but I think you're so unique, Richie, that I think that you may have a possibility. So figure uh, your audit, since you have some history, you're going to need two years. It looks like you've got some nice business. So I would figure anywhere between uh, 20 to 25 grand a year for your audit. So you're looking at about 50 grand for the audit. I would say you're running anywhere between uh, 10 to 20 grand for legal, another two to three grand for Edgar. Uh, you're probably looking at about you know anywhere between 40 to 50k uh, for your marketing, and then another 10k for your your uh, 
uh, transfer agent and your platform fees. So, uh, my friend, I think it's very doable for you with your numbers. I wish you luck. If you've got any questions, my friend Richie, you can always reach out to me and Ron. And Ron, tell everybody who is just like Richie, who is listening to our show, that they've talked to, you know, they're listening to the Reggae Money Show with, with Ron Costa and me, Miguel Dotris. Ron, tell them how they get in touch with the show, please. Yeah, folks, Richie submitted his question from uh, regamoney.com. That's our website, R-E-G-A money.com. He went over to the Ask a Question tab on the website. You guys can do the same. And, Miguel, I think we're going to wrap it up here. We went a little bit overboard. It was a really serious topic. I apologize to the people out there about not having a guest today, but we, we, like you, you can see we had too much going on with just this one topic. We'll come back at you next week with some more of that. So, again, thank you, everyone, for listening. We are on the iHeartRadio Network. We are on iTunes. We are on the Stitcher mobile platform, and we are on Spreaker. Go to Google. Type in Reggae Money or whatever. You'll find us there as well. We need you guys to subscribe, to follow. Tell all your friends about the Reggae Money Show. We love bringing you the show, and we'll come at you next week with some more great Regulation A-plus information. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.